This question comes from Key Concrete 007. At 55, I've become reflective and decided to take DMT. Not for recreational purposes, but to open my mind to fear and amazement. I've been an atheist all my life. At one point during my ayahuasca experience, I raised my hand skyward and said, God, forgive me. I'm no longer an atheist. My question, what are your thoughts on the controlled use of DMT or psychedelics in general? Uh, good question. I know these days many people are involved in using, you know, some of the substances to access spiritual realities. And in fact, there are, you know, some native um, teaching in different places where they use that. And um, I tried those when I was in college, LSD and things like that, and I had spiritual experiences and openings. And uh, what I remember from my experience, I did it several times, you know, in the 60s and early 70s. But then after, when I started having spiritual experiences uh, on my own without them, I did not go back. To the using those substances and and I was wondering about the other day why didn't I, I it's not like somebody told me don't do it or it just dropped out of my mind and and now I'm not that interested but I do hear about it from students from other people that they experiment with these and some of them have good experience and especially for somebody who is find it difficult to access a spiritual dimension it can, and can be i see it uh, helping them they, they do it once or twice it opened them up in a way that they weren't being able to be open and that way they saw something about themselves in reality they couldn't see before and that is really helpful for their development and, and evolution so I think that way, I've seen it being useful that way. I wouldn't recommend that somebody use it as their way of spiritual practice, unless they are part of some indigenous tribe and they have their own you know, way of dealing with it. I find many of the people who we were talking about earlier, who with a megaphone shout their toe out to other people, in such a manner that doesn't have people welcoming their toe. They tend to have in common that their insights were precipitated by their private use of psychedelics. So do you see that psychedelics to inform one's philosophy or ontology, etc., as removed from a community is somehow a net negative in some manner or not as pure? Well, it's not that, you know, it's more like Comparing my experiences from the 60s and 70s on psychedelics from my later experiences, which happens more spontaneously, there is a difference in quality. It's not the same. The psychedelic gives it a diff changes things in some way that is n not how reality is exactly. When experienced, you know, with one's raw consciousness. And, and uh, it, it has the possibility of opening up, but it also opens up to other things that are not true, you know, it, because it also can magnify our imagination. And that's why people have bad trips, you know, <laughs> because it, it, it could magnify anything. So um, I, the way I think about it is that some traditions, like the ayahuasca tradition in South America, for instance, they have developed a way of working with it that they use it for, you know, as part of their spiritual practice. But I also seen some Americans who went there and did that, and they came back, and their spiritual access naturally was got more narrow. Hmm, interesting. See, that goes back to what I was yeah. referring to earlier about path dependence. So some people would say, no, this yeah. lesson works and it works ubiquitously. Yeah. But it also depends on where you are. One of the ways that I like to conceptualize this, I'm curious if, if you, I'm curious what your thoughts are, is that I see some Westerners 
taking on Eastern approaches and vice versa, somewhat uncritically. And I wonder if that's always a net benefit, because to me, it's akin to installing Mac soft force installing Mac software on your PC. You're going to get errors if it's not compatible with how you grew up, with what your view is right now. Do you see well, it similarly? I, I think that there is, there is a point there, Kurt, in the sense that the uh, the Eastern approach they have their own worldview, the, which is different from a Western world worldview. For instance. Um, both the Indian spirituality and Buddhist spirituality developed on being uh, free from samsara, right? What they call samsara, which is the ordinary world. And basically, because they believe in reincarnation, is that the idea is to not reincarnate again. So that is, uh, you want to be enlightened so that you'll be free from this world and not come back again. And and in the West, we don't subscribe to that kind of thing, you know, incarnation coming back or whatever, you know, for me, I don't know if that's true or not. See, so I don't look at spirituality that way. I, I, I look at a spirituality that is to make life as complete, as deep as possible. And if that means something else for later, great. See, and so, so, yeah, so some people adopt the Eastern view with all the, their philosophical or uh, metaphysical perspective of reincarnation and, um, and um, you know, and leaving the world, and, and which, which has in it a way of saying that this world is, is no good. It's just you're here, sort of, you see. I myself, I don't know. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I mean, I I have some experiences of incarnation, whatever. I don't know if they're true or not, if they're real or not, and so I don't subscribe to that. So it's true. If, if somebody who's Western who who takes on that, like they're putting a hat on their their brain, that is just a hat on them. It's not really. Uh, 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 naturally uh, arisen insight within them. But the spiritual, but however, if somebody takes the spiritual tradition and take the practices and learn to connect to the truth of who they are, and then that is independent of the worldview because you're just what you are at this moment. What you are at this moment has nothing to do with the past or the future. So you're not thinking of, all the, uh, the you're free of the world of you, basically any world of you. That way, it could be useful. Yes, and many I think have found it useful that way. 